Okay. My first video wasn't that good, so I'm gonna make remake it. So this is how to survive your first night in Minecraft, part one. And I'm starting from the very beginning. Okay. You can name it whatever you want. To get more options, you can put in the same seat as me and have the same map. And you can put structures on or off. You can put cheats if you want to. You can bonus chest if you want. But I'm not going to. I'm going to play all vanilla. So let's create the world and start our Minecraft adventure. Okay, if you want to go, if you want to play this map exactly the way I play it, I'm going to give you the coordinates at the very beginning. Okay. Okay, there's my coordinates if you want them. So you can spawn in the same exact place as me. Okay. Me put my render distance down. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna head west. I think. Now, I've already found a pretty awesome cave, which I think I might live in. Oh, and I'll put it on easy if it isn't already, because you don't want to. Well, if you don't have to put on easy, but if you want to challenge, a little bit of challenge, put on easy. Yeah. Pretty much all you want to do on your first day is gather wood and anything you're going to need to survive your very first day. Which, if you're low on food and health because you fell, you're going to want to get some meat. Sorry about any background noise that you're probably gonna hear. So like I said, if you're going to play the same way I'm playing it, just follow exactly what I'm doing. Which I wouldn't, because you're trying to survive on your own. You're not trying to do exactly as I do. Okay. After I get this, I'm going to check where the sun's at. See how much longer we have. Because each day in Minecraft is about 20 minutes long. videos I really am I'm not gonna talk much I'm just gonna be showing you more what to do
Okay. This is good. Kind of the area I like. So, just make some planks. Make a crafting table. And put it down. You then need to make sticks, which you do like this. You then need to make a pickaxe. Which you need to keep some regular wood plank, regular logs too, because I'll show you why in a minute. Now we don't have to use that anymore. This is one of your main resources that you're going to need on Minecraft if you're going to really thrive. Because you use coal for torches, you use it for fuel, and it's one of the most efficient fuels other than lava or blaze rods. And speaking of that, I just found iron. of the water. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to make a furnace. Okay. Make the furnace. Plop it down. Okay. Here's why I told you that you had to keep some wood. If you put raw wood into a furnace like that and cook it, you will get charcoal, which is just like coal. There's absolutely no difference in it, which I will show you here in a minute. I got a piece of charcoal, a piece of coal. Okay. So you can put a piece of charcoal up in the corner. Put a stick. You get four torches. Now when you make it out of regular coal, you get four torches. They're exactly the same, so... Just whichever one you can make at the time is, I guess, what you're gonna use. Okay, now we need to get more coal. That's what the pig gets for getting in my way. Okay, the main reason you really need to gather a bunch of wood is so if all those spells you can make charcoal out of it. So you can have light so that monsters won't break into your house and eat your brain like zombies can do in 1.6.4, which I'm playing. Okay, I got my six iron ingots. Pulled my coal back out. Now I'm going to make a pickaxe and a sword. 
Okay. Which pickaxe is two sticks and three across the top. A sword is one stick and two of something like that. And that's for any kind of sword. Okay. Don't mind a crafting table with a pickaxe, it won't mine any faster because it's made of wood. You really need an axe to do it, but you can do it by hand. Okay. Yeah, be careful about sudden drops like that. Okay, now I'm going to make a door, which is a uh, two by three rectangle, like so. And I'm going to place my door there. Okay. Not much, but it is a home for the night. So if you can get shelter and you have a sufficient amount of torches, you need to mine through the night to get all your resources that you will need for the coming days. Or you can work on making this a more permanent home. Which I figure we're gonna be here a while, so I'm gonna make a room. Better yet, I'm gonna make a mine. And I believe I have hit a cave. I think I'll make one more tool that I recommend you guys make. You have two sticks, and it doesn't really matter what you put on the top as long as it's a uh, tool material, which is wood, cobblestone, gold, iron, or diamond. Okay. So I'm gonna go cave diving, which I'd recommend you only do with a sword, which I have an iron one, so I'm okay. Okay. And I will tell you one thing. The more you run, the faster your hunger bar will go down if you've never played Minecraft before. Which I'm guessing you probably haven't if you're watching this video. But if you're watching it for a refresh, then you already know that. Okay, pretty much. If I get enough views, I'm going to continue this series. And it's not going to be about how to just survive your first night, but what to do after that. Oh, 
creeper. Hey, circle. <laughs> Always have spare torches because you don't want to make them like that. On your first night, it's not that big of a deal. You're gonna just restart. You don't have much in the world anyway, so don't worry about it. Just quit, restart. Now we're getting pretty close to 20 minutes, so. Okay, and this is gold. Sorry. Yeah, don't eat run meat or uncooked meat, actually. You can eat run flesh. It won't hurt you at all. Okay. Here's a cooked pork chop for later. I need some more gold and I'm gonna make another first so I can smelt more iron. Okay. Now yeah, we're kicking. Okay, and right at the 20 minute mark, so I guess I will leave you guys here. See you next time.